The battle raged on across the ocean, with the fleet and sirens clashing in a furious storm of explosions and energy blasts. Goku, now in his Super Saiyan God form, flew high above the battlefield, eyes locked onto the cloaked figure standing on the siren warship. This wasn't like the other enemies he'd faced, this one was faster, more dangerous, and seemed to have a personal interest in him. You've got some impressive moves, Goku said a grin spreading across his face as his fiery red aura crackled around him. But I'm just getting started. The figure laughed darkly, their voice echoing over the crashing waves. You're strong, Saiyan, but power alone won't be enough to defeat me. With a sudden burst of speed, the figure launched themselves at Goku, closing the distance in an instant. Goku reacted quickly, dodging the first strike and countering with a powerful punch aimed at the figure's midsection. His fist connected, sending a shockwave rippling through the air. But instead of recoiling, the figure absorbed the hit. Barely flinching, Goku's eyes widened. What the? Before he could react, the figure retaliated, slamming their fist into Goku's side. The force of the blow sent Goku crashing into the ocean below, water erupting into the air from the impact. Goku, Enterprise's voice crackled over the comms, her tone filled with worry. But before anyone could move to help, a bright red light shot out of the water. Goku flew back into the air, his Super Saiyan God aura blazing even brighter than before. I'm fine, Goku shouted, shaking the water from his hair. This guy is tougher than I thought, but I'm just getting warmed up. The figure hovered above the warship, their dark aura swirling around them. You're not the only one with hidden strength, Saiyan. Let me show you what true power looks like. With a wave of their hand, the figure summoned an enormous surge of energy, the sky darkening as storm clouds gathered overhead. The ocean churned violently as bolts of dark lightning struck down around the battlefield. Goku's expression turned serious. He could sense the intensity of the power being unleashed. It was dangerous. Far more dangerous than anything he'd felt from the sirens before. Okay, Goku muttered to himself. Looks like it's time to stop holding back. With a deep breath, Goku's aura shifted once again, changing from the fiery red of Super Saiyan God to a brilliant blue. His power surged as he ascended into... Super Saiyan Blue, the transformation pushing his strength even higher. The ship girls, watching from below, could hardly believe their eyes. He's incredible, Belfast whispered, her eyes wide with awe. Enterprise nodded, her gaze fixed on Goku. His power, it's on a completely different level. Akaji, standing nearby, smirked. Our commander is full of surprises, isn't he? Back in the sky, the figure's energy continued to grow, the storm intensifying as they gathered more power. But Goku wasn't intimidated, he powered up to full strength, his blue aura sparking with electricity as he prepared to charge in. You're strong, but I'm not backing down, Goku shouted, his voice filled with detonation. With a roar, he flew toward the figure, his fists glowing with energy. The two clashed in midair, the force of their blows sending shockwaves across the ocean. Each strike was faster and more powerful than the last, the sky lighting up with flashes of blue and dark energy as they exchanged attacks. But as the battle dragged on, Goku realized something, this figure wasn't just powerful, they were smart, they were studying his movements, analyzing his fighting style, and adapting to his attacks. You're learning as you fight, Goku said, dodging another strike, you're not like the other sirens. Who are you? The figure chuckled darkly, I am the next step in the evolution of the sirens, we've studied your kind, your strength, your transformations, and we've learned. Soon, your world will fall to us. Goku gritted his teeth his blue aura flaring even brighter, not if I have anything to say about it. With a burst of speed, Goku charged up a massive, Kamehameha Kama, the blue energy glowing in his hands as he prepared to unleash it. The figure didn't flinch, their dark energy gathering around them in response. Kamehameha Ha H-A, Goku shouted, firing the beam toward the figure. The figure countered with their own blast of dark energy, the two beams clashing in the sky. The force of the collision shook the entire battlefield sending waves crashing over the ships below. For a moment, it seemed like Goku's Kamehameha would overpower the figure's attack, but then, the figure let out a roar of their own, pushing their dark energy even further. The beams exploded in midair, sending both Goku and the figure flying backward. Goku regained his balance, panting from the exertion. This fight was tough, tougher than he'd expected, but he wasn't ready to give up. Back on the deck, as Goku battled in the sky, the shipgirls continued to fight off the remaining sirens. Enterprise was at the front lines, leading the charge with her usual precision and efficiency, but even as she fought, her eyes kept drifting toward Goku, her mind racing with thoughts. She had always been focused on the mission, 
on protecting the fleet. But since Goku had arrived, things had changed. His strength, his determination, comma, his kindness, it had all left a lasting impression on her. And now, watching him fight against this overwhelming foe, Enterprise couldn't help but feel something more. Something she hadn't expected. He's incredible, she whispered to herself. Belfast, standing beside her, glanced over. You're not the only one who thinks so. Enterprise turned to Belfast, raising an eyebrow. What do you mean? Belfast smiled knowingly. It's obvious, isn't it? Many of the girls have grown quite fond of our commander. His strength is one thing, but it's his heart that draws them to him. Enterprise frowned, her thoughts becoming more complicated. She had always been a leader, someone who kept her emotions in check. But now, she wasn't so sure. Before she could dwell on it further, another explosion rocked the battlefield, pulling her attention back to the fight. Back in the sky, Goku and the figure clashed once again, their auras colliding as they exchanged powerful blows. But Goku could feel himself reaching his limit. The figure's power was growing with each passing second, and his Super Saiyan blue form was starting to wear on him. I've gotta end this now, Goku muttered, his eyes narrowing as he focused. With a deep breath, he began to gather all of his remaining energy. His aura flared, glowing even brighter as he powered up to his absolute limit. The figure, sensing his intent, prepared for a final strike as well. You think you can defeat me, Saiyan? The figure taunted, their voice filled with arrogance. Goku smirked, his eyes locking onto the figure. I know I can. With a shout, Goku charged forward, his fists glowing with energy. He poured everything he had into the attack, knowing that this was his only chance to win. The two collided once again, their auras exploding in a burst of light and energy. The force of the impact sent shockwaves through the air, shaking the entire battlefield. For a moment, everything was still. And then, with a final, powerful strike, Goku's fist connected with the figure's chest, sending them crashing into the ocean below. Goku hovered in the air, panting heavily. He had done it. The figure was defeated. Back at the base. After the battle, the fleet returned to base, exhausted but victorious. Goku, still in his Super Saiyan blue form, landed on the deck, his energy fading as he powered down. Enterprise and Belfast rushed to his side, their expressions filled with relief. You did it, Commander, Belfast said, her voice soft but proud. Goku grinned, though he was clearly worn out. Yeah, but that was a tough one. Enterprise stepped forward, her eyes meeting his. You saved us again. We wouldn't have made it without you. Goku rubbed the back of his head, a little embarrassed. Ah, uh, come on. We're in this together, remember? As the sun began to set over the ocean, the fleet settled in for the night, knowing that the fight was far from over. But with Goku leading them, they were ready for whatever came next.